So I just recently did a review of a lens from Seven Artisans, the 35mm 1.2 Mark II. So far that video is doing pretty well, but I don't have a ton of gear review videos in the pipeline now. I have, I have the X-T4, which I haven't yet made a review video on. I do have a couple other lenses that I bought on my own that I'm playing around with. I could review those as well. I have uh, two from TT Artisans, the 50 1.2 and the 35 1.4 from TT Artisans. Both those lenses are great lenses. I'm debating whether to do complete reviews in them because I feel like a lot of my reviews for those third-party lenses like TT Artisans, Pergy, or Seven Artisans, I feel like it's very, very repetitive. I, I don't think, I, I don't see a ton of I need to figure out a way to give you a unique take on things um, than to, to kind of just regurgitate this, the same info over and over. So I do have those lenses. I don't plan on getting rid of those lenses anytime soon. So at any point I can figure out a unique way to review it or talk, uh, talk about it in a different way, then I will do that. I like to just check in with you guys every once in a while and kind of give you a, an update on some thoughts and can get some feedback on certain things. So. Uh, when I made a video a while ago asking what you guys wanted to see, I was shooting a lot more film at that time. And now I'm not shooting hardly any film at all. Mostly everything I'm shooting is on Fujifilm gear, the digital. So that being said, I'm looking to refresh that uh, question and, and ask that question again to you guys on the content that you want to see from me that uh, either you're not getting from other channels or maybe stuff that you do like to see from other channels but you want to see me do as well. I know POV street photography is one that's mentioned a lot and I still haven't I haven't uh, jumped into. I'm still debating on how to approach that that works for me. Um, whenever whenever I'm out shooting and I'm trying to really be in the moment of creating uh, the photos I want to create, it's very difficult for me to to bounce between making a YouTube video and creating photography. So I guess what I ha would have to do is go out specifically to create some YouTube videos and get a handful of shots, making that the priority and the, the street photography a little bit of the secondary thing. So maybe I'll do that, but I do wanna ask what else do you guys want to see? So let me know in the comments what kind of YouTube videos you wanna see for me photography wise. I don't make a big deal about uh, my gear most of the time, uh, other than like on the specific gear review videos. But right now I do have the X-T4 and the X-H1 and I pretty much shoot mostly in the X-T4, but I am bouncing between the two a little bit. But I've really fallen in love with the X-Trans 4 sensor, specifically how I can make the black and whites look straight out of camera. And uh, I've always loved the JPEGs from the Fujifilm cameras, but there's something about the way I can make the black and whites look straight from the X-T4 that uh, it just kind of got me addicted to it and so much so that uh, I can't make the X-H1 look exactly like that. I do like the black and whites from the X-H1 and the X-Trans 3 sensor, but there's just some of the uh, some of the options in the X-T4 that allow me to fine tune the black and whites just a little bit better that I've really uh, enjoyed. So that being said, I have debated on whether to sell my X-H1 and, and if I do keep two cameras, have a second camera be an X-Trans for sensor camera, whether that's the XE4 or XT30 Mark II, or um, or maybe a second XT4, but I don't think I want to spend that much money. So it'd have to be probably one of those other lower end ones, XE4, XT30 Mark II. I'm debating on that, but the whole goal would be to get the two cameras I do keep having the same sensor. So whenever I go out with either one, the, I'm creating a, a, a uniform look, and I, I can I can rely on. Um, knowing exactly what I'm going to get from, from each camera. One thing I guess we could talk about, maybe I'll make a specific video soon, is uh, refreshing the whole X-H2 talk. I actually made a video Jan in January of last year, 2021, when at that moment we still all thought the X-H2 was coming in 2021. 
Um, after that video was made, you realized it wasn't, but still, I made a video in, 20, uh, in January of 2021 with some of my hopes and thoughts about the next X-H camera, the X-H2, and now we, we have more, more information according to FujiRumors.com that we, we didn't have back then. So maybe I'll make a new video about hopes and thoughts and expectations about the X-H2 or two, uh, two of them was from what we're understanding now. But if you haven't checked out my video for the X-H2, what I think it might be, please go check that out. Uh, I think I may, hit on, I may have hit on a couple points that uh, may end up being true. Some of the stuff was, was generic enough that it was probably pretty easy to predict. But yeah, check that out and let me know if you want me to revisit that and talk about what's coming in, in the near future. I don't cover a lot of uh, photography news topics because they're very, uh, you know, it's, it's very timely. So those videos don't last very long. They don't, they don't have a, a lot of value, you know, months from now or a year from now. Everything I try to create, mostly, I try to create stuff that will have the same value in six months to a year as it does the day that I make it. So far, it's, I've been pretty good with that, I think. But that's still kind of uh, the, the the main driving force with most of my videos. Uh, one other thing coming up uh, in the next couple days, maybe even tomorrow, I'm going to have a video where I have some YouTube channels that I think you guys should check out, some YouTube channel recommendations. Those are channels that have less subscribers than I do at this current point. So it would really be cool if I can send at least a handful of you guys over to those channels. So please check out for my next video when I give you guys those recommendations. That's pretty much it for now. I just wanted to do a short check-in video, ask you guys a couple questions. And I guess the one last thing, if I do sell my X-H1 just to get a, X -Trans, a second X-Trans4 camera, which one do you guys think I should get the X-E4 or the X-T30 Mark II? It would be mainly a street photography camera. They're within $50 of each other. Give me your thoughts on that and let me know what you think. Otherwise, uh, please keep an eye out for the next video tomorrow with YouTube channel recommendations. And thank you guys as always. You guys have been amazing and I'll talk to you guys soon.